Hello everyone, this is Dr. Marrero from Math Topics. Uh, welcome to this uh, new series about the history of mathematics. Um, what I'm trying to do with this uh, podcast or playlist is uh, going over uh, facts about the history of one of the most important human achievements, which is the monumental a structure and the monumental building that is mathematics. This is the timeline of the series. Um, we are going to divide it in chapters or videos or podcasts. The first video is the introduction to the podcasts, the history of mathematics. Um, we are going to have the importance of mathematics in human history. Uh, we're going to talk about the origin of mathematics in ancient civilization. Chapter 2 will be devoted to Egypt and Mesopotamia. Chapter 3 or video 3 will be devoted to the Greek mathematics, the birth of geometry. We're going to talk about Euclid, the element, serious um, important information about this in, uh, uh, time in the history of mathematics. Chapter 4, the golden age of Indian mathematics. Chapter 5, Islamic mathematics, preserving and advancing knowledge. Those are the titles. So I will do it one per week, every Sunday. Chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, 4, 5. Then we have chapter seven, which, uh, 6, which is the Renaissance and the rebirths of mathematics. Chapter 7, the rise of analytic geometry and calculus. Chapter 8, probability theory and the beginning of modern mathematics. Chapter 9, the, cent the 19th century, the age of the mathematical rigor. And the chapter 10, which is the 20th century, the foundation of mathematics. Then we move to, very nice now, no? very nice. When we reach that chapter 10. And finally, we have the last two chapters, modern mathematics frontiers and chapter 12 will be the conclusion and more about the application and the importance of mathematics. Uh, today's day. That is the plan for this uh, podcast. And this series, I think, is going to bring you uh, another perspective um, that can be incorporated or integrated to your knowledge. It's not only knowing mathematics or knowing how it works, it's also knowing the origin of the mathematics. I will be, be making reference to two important books. Uh, one of them is A History of Mathematics um, by Carl Boyers and Utah Merksbach. This is one of the books that I will be using for this series. It's a very interesting book. It has a uh, Four words by Isaac Asimov, so very uh, powerful book about mathematics and the origin of mathematics. And I will be using this book, The History of Mathematics, an introduction from Victor Katz. So I'm going to reference the book in the description below. Um, just for you to know and if you are interested maybe you can buy this book i don't know exactly if amazon has those books i'm going to find out if they have it i'm going to leave you uh, the link uh, in the description that is the two references that i will be using for this podcast why is important uh, knowing the history of mathematics or at least have an information about the history of mathematics? If you are a math teacher and you're teaching geometry in your curriculum, always we're going to be teaching geometry. At some point in the school year, we teach geometry. 
The geometry that we teach is basically the Euclidean geometry that comes from the Greek mathematicians uh, Euclid and his books, The Elements. If you can integrate um, to your lesson the postulates of Euclid and you can talk to the students about the extraordinary book of The Elements, your class will, will be more engaged. And your class will be more motivated and that will help you not only to reach the students because you cannot teach one student or a group of students if they are not motivated to learn what they what, what you're trying to deliver this is one of the main reasons that is necessary to know history of mathematics so when you talk when you teach algebra and you teach system of equations and you try to tell the students why you substitute one expression from one line in another expression that represents another line why we do that we do it because euclidean geometry because if two lines intersect on the plane they intersect at one point and that point is a common point for both so the integration of history of mathematics along with the content that you're trying to deliver is essential to engage and essential to motivate the students. In addition, um, when you know, when you're learning on one specific topic and you know the origin of the topic and you know the reason why we, the humans created or the human discovered the topic, and we can see the application. What was the what was the origin of this investigation that allowed um, someone in the history, in the past history, to create this wonderful equation or to discover this wonderful relation like a Pythagorean theorem? Then we can do word problems and we can do application instantly because we know that, for example, the Pythagorean theorem is just an area problem that comes from the Egyptians, the Mesopotamians, thousands of years ago. But it was initially a kind of a real estate problem. So we can understand now A squared plus B squared equals C squared from another perspective, from the historical perspective. want to uh, conclude the video the first uh, lesson the introductory lesson of this um, podcast ab talking about a magnificent book that I read years ago that goes over the Asian cultures and how they face the mathematics or the, the, the origin of the mathematics. This book is, the name of the book is Number and the Making of Us. I'm gonna put the description below and probably a link to Amazon. It's an amazing book uh, written by Caleb Everett. And this is the name of the book, Numbers. and the making of us, counting and the course of human cultures. This is an excellent, I can tell you this is an excellent book because it goes earlier than the Egyptians, earlier than the Mesopotamians. Um, they give us the idea of the origin of formal mathematics. 
the formal mathematics can be traced back to the ancient world, to the earlier cultures or the earlier civilizations. And don't forget there's numbers and the making of us counting in the course of human cultures by Caleb Everett. It's a beautiful book. Chapter one is done. Um, get ready for chapter two next Sunday. Um, now I will be talking about the Mesopotamians, the Egyptians, very rich chapter. Um, we're gonna see that this, the system of numbers they use it. By the way, they use a system of numbers very similar to the one that we use right now, decimal systems. It will be really, really interesting in the next chapter. If you reach this part of the video and you like it, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to support math topics, to continue this endeavor, which is delivering mathematics um, interaction. And don't forget to share. This is really important. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you in chapter two of History of Mathematics podcast. Thank you.